I use a lot of no-code tools to run all of my businesses. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you every single no-code tool that I currently use. I'm gonna share with you what it does, how much it costs, and then how it makes me more money online. So let's get into it. So first we'll talk about all of my design tools, my management tools, email tools, communication tools, content, marketing, and then finally all of the AI tools that I'm using. Now for design tools, the first tool that I wanna talk about is Webflow. I use Webflow to build all my websites and my landing pages. I believe that it is the easiest and most flexible way to develop websites. Now for my team and user plans, I'm spending just over $200 per month, and this is not including all of the monthly hosting fees that I have for the many different websites that I'm hosting through Webflow. Now on the money-making scale, I would give Webflow a 9.5 out of 10. I have yet to find a development tool that does as good of a job as Webflow. Now the next tool is Figma, and this is my UX and UI design tool. And this is the tool that pretty much everybody in the industry is using, and for good reason. I use Figma for all of my website designs before I take them to development, all of my dashboards, my interfaces, and I also use it for all of my social media content and thumbnails. And so this is a great design tool, and the best part is it's free to get started. So if you're not using Figma, now's the time to dive in. And on the money-making scale, I would give Figma a 10 because pretty much every idea that I have starts in Figma where I'm designing it and fleshing it out. The next tool is Adobe Illustrator, and this is one that I've used for probably about 10 years now. And this is another design tool that is better suited for creating things like logos and custom vectors. Now I pay for the entire Adobe suite, but if you want to pay for just Adobe Illustrator, it's gonna be just $21 per month. And on the money-making scale, I would give this an eight. This is a design tool that I love. It's been around for a really long time and it really doesn't get better than Illustrator. And the next one that we need to talk about is Photoshop that allows you to basically edit any image or photo. And I use it pretty minimally. Typically, I just use it to cut and crop out my images to use in thumbnails. So I'm probably not using it even close to its fullest potential, but I still really enjoy the tool. You can get Photoshop for about 21 bucks a month as well, or you can pay for the entire suite. And as far as the money-making scale, I would give this about a four out of 10. I know there are probably other tools out there that can do the very simple work that I'm using Photoshop for, and they could probably do it cheaper and easier, but I love Photoshop, I'm used to it, and it works for me. The next tool is Icon Scout, and this is the library where I get all of my icons and illustrations. Now, I've used a lot of different libraries like this, but Icon Scout is by far my favorite. It saves me a ton of time from having to design things on my own, especially things like icons. And one of my favorite parts about Icon Scout is you can actually customize each of these assets to your brand colors right there in Icon Scout before you download them. So it saves a ton of time. Now, Icon Scout costs just $179 per year, but I feel like it's definitely worth every penny. And so on the scale of how much money this makes me, I would say eight, if not more, because of all the time that it saves me, and it makes all of my content look so much better because I'm using all these professional assets. The next tool is a wireframing tool called octopus.do. It's a pretty cheap tool, it's just eight bucks a month, but it's a really, really easy way to lay out all the pages of a website and start wireframing and fleshing out what your website projects are gonna look like. This is a tool that I really like using with clients because sometimes it's just the easiest way to get on the same page as far as how big the project's going to be. So on the money-making scale, I'd probably just give this one a three out of 10. It's certainly one that I could live without, um, but with it being so cheap and saving me the time that it does, I would recommend it for those of you that run an agency or just have multiple website clients. And the last tool that I wanna talk about is Framer. I've actually just recently dove into Framer. It is a development tool that's comparable to Webflow and I didn't want to put it at the top because I have yet to use it enough to really give it an honest review. But from what I have seen, it's really blown me away, especially its new AI design and development features. And so if you're looking for a development tool like Webflow or you're looking for a new development tool and you're new to the industry, Framer could be a fantastic place to start. All right, so now we're gonna talk about management tools. These are all the tools that help run all of my businesses. And the first and probably most important is Hello Bonsai. This is the tool that I use 
to manage all of my company finances, all of my proposals, contracts, invoices, payments. It's pretty much a full suite that does everything for you as far as the logistics of running a business. Now, the cost on this for me is about $378 per year. I believe they do have cheaper plans, but at the end of the day, this is well worth it. And it's one of my favorite tools. I've put out a lot of videos about this tool over the years, and it's because I am such a big believer in it. So if you wanna try this tool for free and get a special trial period, you can click my link up here in the top corner and go give it a shot. On the money-making scale, I would give this a 10 out of 10 without a doubt, and I don't think I will ever stop using it. The next tool is Teachable. This is where I host all of my online courses. I actually have two courses, and so I've run a lot of people through my Teachable platform, and it's worked flawlessly for me. I really enjoy how simple it is to upload your course. It does everything in terms of people paying for your course and getting access to your course and you can drip all of your course modules to people on any schedule that you want. Uh, it does a lot for you as a new and advanced course creator. So if you're looking to make a course or switch your course to a new platform, I would definitely recommend Teachable. Right now it costs me about 59 bucks a month, which is really reasonable. And on the scale, I would give this a nine out of 10. The next tool is MemberStack. This is what I use to make a custom membership platform for my membership, paypro.com. Now the way that MemberStack works is it connects or integrates with Webflow so I can customize exactly how my membership platform looks and works and what it has and what people see when they log in. So if you're looking for something more customizable beyond that that Teachable or Kajabi can offer, MemberStack is a great option. MemberStack costs me about 49 bucks a month, and on the money-making scale, I'd probably give it a 7.5. However, I will say in most cases, you don't need a super custom membership solution like MemberStack can offer. You might just need an out-of-the-box tool. The next tool is Zapier, which handles all of my automations. So it basically makes all of my no-code tools work together so I can pass information and leads from one tool to another. And there's pretty much no limit to the number of integrations that Zapier can work with. And the best part is you don't have to have any experience in automations. You literally just go through the checklist step by step and tell Zapier which tools you want to connect to which tools, and it does everything for you. At this point, Zapier cost me about $588 per year, which seems a little bit steep, but I'm using it a lot and have one of the more expensive plans. So if you're just getting started, or if you feel like you need to start automating different parts of your businesses, Zapier is definitely a great place to start. Zapier won't disappoint. On the money-making scale, I would give this a nine out of 10. Again, I don't think there's a better way to automate than with Zapier. The next tool is Notion, and I can make a 10-hour video about Notion because it's probably my favorite tool on this list. And I do pretty much everything with Notion, whether it is planning, delegating, strategizing, setting goals, creating content, organizing my content, creating a content planner or calendar, it can do virtually anything in terms of organization. And so if you're not using Notion, this is the first tool that you should sign up for. It has a free plan. They can give you pretty much everything that you need. And this is going to become your second brain or a digital brain. That's going to help you remember everything you have to do and just stay organized. And for people like me, that's really important because on my own, I am just not an organized person. So on the money-making scale, Notion is going to get a 10 out of 10. And if I could give it a higher number, I would. The next tool is Calendly, which is my scheduling and booking tool. And the way that this works is it integrates right on my website. People can sign up book a day, book a time, and if needed, they can even pay for that time, and then it's going to send them an automated Zoom link. It's going to send them reminders. It pretty much just makes sure that people show up for that call. Now, I believe that Calendly has free plans. I currently am on a paid plan, but it's a really useful tool, and on the scale, I would give it about a seven out of 10. It has been a really reliable tool, and I've been able to book a lot of calls and land a lot of new clients using Calendly. This next tool is Termageddon, and this is how I create all of my privacy policy and terms and conditions pages. Now, these might be things that you haven't thought about before, and if that's the case, you're going to want to watch this video right here because it talks about how you can use Termageddon to make sure that you don't get sued for not following the proper legalities behind your privacy policy and terms and conditions. Now, Termageddon 
is free for agencies, especially if you're going to resell it to your clients. Now, if you're just an individual business, paying for Termageddon is still pretty darn cheap, and I can promise you it's going to be way cheaper than paying for an attorney or paying through a massive lawsuit. So be careful. Make sure that you are aware of your legal obligation as a website owner and go give Termageddon a try. Now on the make money scale, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 and I would give it an 11 out of 10 on the don't get sued scale. So go check out Termageddon. Next, we're gonna talk about email tools. And my first and most important email tool is ConvertKit, which I use to manage all of my email subscribers to send out newsletters and email blasts and to segment my different email lists. Now, one thing I love about ConvertKit is it's easy to use and I can send emails from multiple different email addresses, which helps if you're running multiple different businesses. ConvertKit is 150 bucks a month and on the make money scale, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. The next email tool is MailTrack.io. This is a free tool that plugs right into your Gmail and shows you if people have opened and read your emails. And it sends you reminders if you've forgotten to reply to past emails. So this one is free. There's really no reason not to use it. I wouldn't say it actively makes me money, but it is helping me be more productive. So I give it a five out of 10. The next tool is a cold email outreach tool called LemList, and this helps you with every aspect of cold emailing to make sure that your emails get delivered make sure they don't get red flagged and make sure that they don't get sent to spam. It's 60 bucks a month and on the make money list, I give it about an eight out of 10 because we've actually been able to generate a ton of new users for my software by cold emailing through LemList. And if you're using LemList, another tool that you're gonna wanna use is LemWarm, which basically just warms up your email and increases the number of emails that actually get delivered to inboxes. It's 30 bucks a month, and I would give this one about a six out of 10 on the make money scale. Now we're gonna talk about communication tools, and the most important communication tool is Slack. This is where I talk to my team and oftentimes talk to clients. It's the easiest way to keep track of information, keep track of conversations, and I love it because you can create individual channels and dictate who gets to join those channels to make sure that these conversations stay super organized. It's about nine bucks a month per user and it's well worth it. On the make money scale, I would give this a 10 out of 10. The next tool is Loom. This is the best screen recording tool out there. You can record your screen, record your face, record your voice, and send it to people and see when it's been watched and they can comment on it. This is actually a really effective way to delegate, I will record 50 videos a day and send them out to all my team members to make sure that they know exactly what needs to be done. It's about $150 per year and on the make money scale, this one's gonna get a 10 out of 10 from me, one of my favorite tools. The next tool is GoDaddy SmartLine. This is basically just a spare business number for your phone. It works as an app inside your phone and so when somebody calls your business number, it's going to tell you whether it's a business or personal call, which helps us keep the two separate. And for me, it hasn't really actively made me money, but it's relieved a lot of anxiety. It's 13 bucks a month, and on the make money scale, I'd give it about a three out of 10. Now we're gonna jump into content tools. The first is TubeBuddy, which is my YouTube research tool. And this is basically what I use to find good topics to create videos about and how I optimize those videos. It's $7.50 per month, and on the make money scale, I give it a 6.5. The next tool is Screen Studio, which is basically just a souped up version of Loom. It helps you make screen recordings that are just a little bit higher caliber, so I often use this tool when I'm creating product demos because it feels just a little bit more professional. The tool costs a one-time fee of just $89, so it's pretty darn cheap, and I've already got my money's worth. So on the money-making scale, I would give this one a six out of 10. Again, it's been really helpful with product demos, but outside of that, it may not have a lot of uses that Loom can't fulfill. The next tool is Tello, which is actually what I filmed this video with. So this is another screen recording tool where you can record your screen, your face, but in post-production, you can actually edit it to create nice layouts like you're seeing right here. So if you like the way this video looks that you're watching right now, go check out Tello. It's just 19 bucks a month, and I really enjoy it so far. And at this point, on the money-making scale, I'd give it about a six out of 10. Now I wanna talk about just two marketing tools. The first is Semrush, which is your full SEO suite. Now this tool is pretty much irreplaceable for me. We use this on all of our SEO campaigns, and it helps me optimize my own personal websites and content. Now this started as just an SEO tool, but there are now also tools inside Semrush 
to help you with your Google advertising and also social media advertising. Now, I only use about 30% of the features that it has, and I still feel like it's worth the $130 a month that I pay. So if you're looking for a full suite marketing tool, SEMrush is definitely a great option. And on the make money scale, I would give this a 9 out of 10. And the next one that I want to talk about is SEMflow, which is another SEO tool. This is actually a tool that my team and I built, but this SEO tool works right inside Webflow. Now, this is not a full SEO suite like SEMflow. This mostly just helps you optimize on-page parts of your website, and it helps you optimize for keywords. It's also going to give you insights on how to improve your page speed and optimize your site just in general. So if you're looking for a tool like this to work inside of Webflow, it's just 15 bucks per month on a monthly plan, or if you pay annually, it's just eight bucks a month. So on the make money scale, I would give SEMflow an eight out of 10. Again, it doesn't do nearly as much as SEMflow, but it's a really affordable option for Webflow users. And finally, I wanna talk about the AI tools I'm using. The first one is MidJourney, and this is for all of my visual outputs that I wanna get. So I type in a prompt on MidJourney, and it's actually going to return some sort of picture or image. So you can create virtually anything with MidJourney. We are still in the early days of this visual AI stuff, and so it can be a little bit buggy, but if you wanna see exactly how this works and how you can utilize it to come up with web design ideas or different interface ideas, click this video right up here in the top. It's a really great place to start. Now, Mid Journey costs just 10 bucks per month, and so it's pretty cheap, but on the money-making scale, I would give this just a two out of 10 because I have yet to find a good way to actively generate income from Mid Journey. And the final AI tool is ChatGPT. This is one that probably all of us have messed around with. There are great ways to use ChatGPT to grow as a designer, a freelancer, a business owner. We just have to know the right things to ask it. Now, if you don't know what to ask it, sometimes the best thing to do is just ask it what to ask it. So type in, how can ChatGPT help me become a better designer or a better business owner? And this for me, has really helped start to get the wheels spinning as far as how to utilize AI to actually grow my business. Now, ChatGPT does have free plans, I believe. I currently am on the plan that's 20 bucks a month, and it's something that I've just committed to learning and implementing because I know that as the years go on, it's going to become more and more critical for my business. So on the money-making scale, right now it's gonna get just a five out of 10 from me, but I do hope that that increases as time goes on. So I'm curious, are there any tools that I forgot about? If so, comment them down below. I'm gonna go try them out and then make videos on them to let you all know which tools are the best no-code tools for business owners like you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.